This is a video spotlight on a new folk feature film that was just released to YouTube, directed by Ignacio Santana, called Reading a Book Before Bed. Now, as you know if you've been watching this channel, I'm, uh, I recently reviewed uh, two of Ignacio's previous films, Nothing and Can't Think Right, Maybe Staring Out a Window Might Help, and I, I'm a big fan of both of those, but I have to say this is uh, probably my favorite yet. As with Ignacio's previous uh, films, what he does here is really unique in using these kind of extended takes, long takes, uh, and, and images as a sort of blank slate onto which the viewer can, uh, into which the viewer can immerse him or herself and, and I think project uh, a lot of their own meaning onto these images. Uh, it, it's a great approach and Ignacio does it really well. Uh, now, the thing with this film is it's also a very beautifully shot film, I, I have to say, and there's a lot of scenes, you know, a lot of low lighting, but it, it works very well. It, it really creates a good sense of atmosphere and, and a sense of calm, too, interestingly. It's a, it's a very, uh, I, I think that's, that's something, that's a, that's a mood that Ignacio achieves in his films that I find uh, it's really a, a strong element of them. Now, to me, you know, I'm talking about how we can kind of project our own uh, meaning onto these images uh, that Ignacio leaves a lot to our imaginations and our interpretations in that respect. And for me, this film is really a, uh, a reflection of fighting off distraction. The premise is that the, the, the character that we're watching, um, played by Ignacio, is attempting to get into reading a book before bed. But there are all these kinds of... Uh, you know, internal and external distractions that keep him from really being able to concentrate and to and to uh, read even a few pages of the book at a time. And I do think this is a uh, this this speaks to our current moment, certainly where uh, we're constantly inundated with distractions and bombarded with, you know, whether it's advertising and media and other things that are competing for our attention and that uh, can very easily pull us away from those kinds of introspective moments of concentration. And in that sense, too, I think the, through this film, Ignacio perhaps has something to say about the creative process itself and, and the kind of concentration and focus that, it, that, that that process itself requires. So the film gives you a lot to think about. Very rewarding in that sense. Uh, and it's a 40-minute Forty minute feature, so again on the kind of on the shorter side of the feature length running time, but it's a very rich and densely packed forty minutes uh, there is and there is one scene in particular that i I want to h highlight, which I thought was uh, just just beautiful, which is when um, when he finally is able to commit to reading a few pages from the book you know he he, he sits down and begins uh, Reading from the reading from the book and on the soundtrack is Beethoven's Ode to Joy and it's a it's a beautiful sequence. I mean the combination of the images and the music and also just the meaning that Ignacio gets out of them together uh, creates a really powerful moment and I, I was really struck by that and wanted to single that out. So anyway, um, you know I recommend it. I recommend taking a look uh, at it. I will link to the film in the description below here. And uh, if you watch uh, reading a book before bed and enjoy it, I also suggest taking a look at Ignacio's other films because he definitely has a strong style and approach that in in the three that I've seen so far are is very uh, consistent and I think makes for a very rewarding viewing experience. So. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you later.